for the first half, more 12, 14 minutes of that second period, Hubert O played two shifts and then they put him on the power play, but five power on five, he was, yeah, he was on the bench and shocking to no one. Less than four minutes in the second period. So you if you sort of in the rafters, prorate that, that's 10, 10 11 minutes. Like, that's fourth line minutes you got. You can sit him in the rafters. I, sure. You're not going to get an argument from me on that or being hard. What would you be missing at this point? You're not missing no. anything. The only thing that you're missing is the fact that you know you can't get rid of the guy and he can be a sour prick in the dressing room and make it real shitty in there. And then what? You ask if him you, to stay home? If you had and a Pelche that's what I said yesterday. Yeah. And, Ruj, and Rujicka was healthier, it'd be easier. But, like, you're already playing A.J. Greer and Hunt. Like it's Well, just just take that part out of it, it like the, yeah. the literal part of it. What do you do? Because I, I read, I you said it to Dregs. I don't think it turns around here. I don't. It maybe Huberto. gets a little bit better for Huberto, mm. but it's not going to be any kind of a. He's not a here. good enough skater, and so and he's too old. Where if you think you're going to have the Skinner scenario where three years from now he's going to find his way, I just. Uh, that's when the physical decline is really going to start to take hold. Yeah. So even if he gets a better opportunity and gets free of, you know, maybe he is hard on himself. I'm not trying to hate on the guy as a person. I'm just saying it ain't working and it's not going to. And I said, how do I, I've alluded to it for 15 months, 16 we, months. You, we, I'm, you have tap danced around it long enough. Right. I said this all along that this was going to be an issue and had the potential to be a huge issue. Well, we can't trade him last even. Okay. You signed him. And I said last year, trade him, trade him now because you might still get something. A team might say, you know what? It was one down year. He didn't like it in Calgary with uh, Sutter. Let's get him on the cheap. Who the is trading for him now? Nobody. And I, to be fair, I didn't think so last year either, just because it was like, you want to see some of that value restored before you make that bet. If you're another GM, um, the same reason Skinner didn't move until and now that he's good again. Like, okay. Well, we'd look at that. Who's, I who's said, putting their nuts on like, if you're another GM in the league, right? Like, I let's said, say you're the you Islanders. Can go back on GM. our, our discussions. I said, we should trade for Skinner three years ago. And I said, you should trade for him because you could get him at half cost and yeah. at four and a half million bucks. He'd yeah. be a good player. And that, no, that's fair. But but again, if if you're a GM for the New York Islanders last year, another team or whatever it is, like, are you really taking on eight years of Jonathan Huberto when he looks as bad as he's ever looked? If it's five I understand million, the salary maybe. be significantly reduced. The most you can eat is half. So let's even say he's a five million dollar player. Who which GM is saying that's my stamp? We're right up against the cap. I'm gonna make room for this. I don't know, but you're tra you're trying to give me shit for the contract. I'm just not saying that I would, I'd move heaven and earth. I'm just trying to have a conversation it. with it. Is no, there any... I, I, it would have been nice to trade him, of course. I just was skeptical you could, that's all. Like, that's the thing. It's it's term and how We've much money are you... It. It's, it was less than a year before that we signed him and all. it was a great signing. And within six months, it's turned into an unmovable contract. That nah. it still doesn't make sense to me, Ryan. Your take on that? I agree that it's a bad signing. I, I never liked the structure of that contract and the money. I understood why the Flames did it, and I always said the Uyghur deal is not going to be a problem, and I don't think it is going to be a problem. Uh, that's that's a guy that's worth that much. Huberto doesn't look half of his value. Uh, and look, like but th this is all hindsight twenty twenty last year stuff, and. You were right to be skeptical in hindsight about inking guys right away. In other instances, it's worked brilliantly. Hampus Lindholm was a great Bruin. He signed moments after arriving in trade, and he's on the top pair with Charlie McAvoy, and they had the best regular season ever last year. It didn't work here, and we didn't know a ton about this guy, but like he's soft. He's bad defensively. I think he's going to be way into his head more than he's ever been in his life, and it's not going to get better for him here. Milan Lucic, there, there were some quotes from him. They talked about on our, our sister spot, the Oilers Nation, you know, we talked about this in the post game last night. Milan talked about how toxic it got in Edmonton, and, and he was angry all the time. And he was angry at the weather. He was angry at traffic. He was angry at the city of Edmonton. He was angry at everything. And when he realized, looking back, because he was mad at himself, because he'd placed a lot of pressure on himself as a free agent with that huge contract to perform, and it wasn't happening. And that's why when he got to Calgary, he looked like a functional fourth liner where he didn't in Edmonton, because it finally was like, huh, he had a fresh start. I don't know how you do that for Huberto here, and I would be stunned if he is in a similar or worse spot mentally than Lucic was at some point here. Because the question, 
what looking at what he is how much are you going to pay if if he was a free agent right now what's the going rate like two million a year 1.5 like i don't i don't i don't even know pto right it's, it's just been it's been such Wouldn't a disaster that be considered but the here, overreaction spot though yeah yeah so so here's my question and pinder you you dig into the cap stuff how truly how much money can the flames eat half of a, that's it right are you, but I, but I mean, are you are you going to really eat five million? For, well, yeah, yeah. I for, still don't think anyone would boo it. You could, but, but so here's here's what I'm if you could do it. Here's what I'm saying: Is there any chance that Florida would do a redo on him? He and Barkov were were close. They were buddies. After he left, Barkov, his play wasn't quite the same. Is there any thought of going back to Florida and just saying, "Listen, the past is the past. And we've made that deal." God no. If I'm Florida, I just went to the final without this guy. You could never get through the second round with this guy. Oh, I would think you're being cheeky. No, no. I think I think there's a reason why for if Matthew you can Kachuk, add, you got the second highest leading scorer in the league and a first. Could, and they be able to do this fairly Florida easily. Defense. How many points did Huberto have last year? Like 50-some. Okay, so he's going to be a 60-point guy. So if so, let's. are we good saying he's a 60-point guy? I mean, the last few games haven't said that, but last year was 55. We think he, like, what's worst a 55? Worst case scenario kind of thing? What's a 55-point player? He could be worse than last year. I, I don't think that's hard Not if he's leaving, and if you're bringing him into your fold. If you're going your, to Florida, you're saying? Anywhere. Okay. He's saying Florida. Sure, I like the idea of Florida. Go back to Florida. You were happy in Florida. You got a buddy there, Barkov. If, if The reason Florida won last year was because they could, the uh, what? No. God, the goalie's name. Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky stood on his head, and True. that was yep. awesome. That was awesome. I... But you couldn't score with anyone else. And if he's giving you 55 to 60, and you're thinking that's that's what I'm buying, but I actually think he's going to be a 80-point mm -hmm. guy. Like you, the if guys you think there's gonna... potential for him to get anything close to where he was, okay, not 150, not 118. What if you flirt with a point per game? If I can have a point per game winger, for five I don't think bucks. he's a point for, for five, game. I think he's 60. I, I'm, well, yeah, I'm, I'm saying six, yeah. if in Florida, if the floor is 60 and, you know, maybe power play, he's happy. It's It has worked here unless there's something behind the scenes that you don't know. I just think it's an unmovable deal yeah, I agree. unless there's maybe some way to make that work. So I just would say you've if you're a GM and you've got data departments and you've got video and you've got pro scouts and you've watched him play, what have you seen in the last 90 games that leads you to believe there's any sort of elite or rare skill there? If you it, you talent. have to you have to be doing it on the belief Something that happened two years ago that you do not look at any Calgary data. Yeah. That and it, so it, what you're saying it is, is not what I'm listen, just just go with it. Just don't be stubborn. Because of course you're not you're not buying what you're buying here. You would be taking a leap of faith that yeah. there's something left. That this is a toxic situation for him. That anything that's happened in Calgary, that data, throw it out the window. What okay. is he? He's it's his age. He has done this in the past. Is there a fit here? Does he mix in our room? And if we can get him for five million, is that is that something that makes us better? I see, the, I see the case you're building. My belief, and I'm not a GM, I will never be a GM. My belief is there's not a single NHL team that would make that bet because term is what always kills you more than the number. And if he's, you're, you're selling the high end. What's the worst case scenario for a team here, even if it is 5 million bucks? You got Austin Zarnick for 7.9 years making five plus. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that's, it's, so it's, you have to weigh the, the ceiling with the floor. And I don't think we've seen the floor yet. Do you He's think, only getting older like, every what year. What is true? I guess, like, what is his floor? Well, I mean, Jesus, he did Still that makes, what, 29 last year? I don't disagree year? with you. What's and that's he look what like I said. 35? I, I don't disagree, and that's what I've said all along, but your tune has changed. You weren't saying that before. So, okay, we're going back to my tune last year on that. Months I understood ago, why the month, Flames signed, month, but I don't like the ago, deal. A month ago. Flames are going to be better. Huberto's going to be better. We're, like, Should be. Yeah, so that was eight games in. You've decided that he can't be, even if it's a, if he leaves the place where he hasn't had success. Like I again, I don't, I, I don't need to argue it. I don't. I've I'm said I don't think it's going to work here. I just wonder if some other team wouldn't say maybe. Yeah, I, I, you're right to wonder. My belief is no, but you, you can absolutely think that there might be four or five GMs that would. Uh, and again, like three weeks ago, we thought the Oilers were going to win the cup. 
And like, I, I, the, the guessing in the summer, the guessing in the summer is nowhere as as valuable well, as the what we were watching happen in the league and what is we're seeing on the ice. And on the ice, I've been more disappointed with ten and ninety one than any two other Flames by a significant gap. No one will argue that with you. No, you can't. For for even limited expectation for both Cadre and Huberto, they are so far below even that you know guarded optimism. It is it's just I I don't know I don't know what there's because I'm with you, right? I he's not going to do it here. It's not no, going to happen. He's not going to do it anywhere anymore, boys. This is this is this is a nightmare. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.